Hey, what up, everybody? Welcome back to Hip Hop Astrology TV, man. I'm your host, Noble M. Poo, aka the Urban Guru, the ambassador of the Aquarian Age, man. I'm about to show you how the planets and stars align. I'm gonna show you how the planet Mars got with your boy Troy Ave, man. Y'all ready for this one? All right, man. So let's get into it, man. If you don't know, Troy Ave um, and Tax Stone, big, 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 big issue. That stems from a 2016 event that we all know that we saw the footage Troy Ave was shooting. And the aftermath of that was um, Tax Stone has now been convicted of manslaughter because Troy Ave's bodyguard or friend was murdered in that situation. The purpose of this conversation is to show you how accurate the planetary alignments are. So when people be like, hey man, when the planets align, right? Um, this this is real, and it's my job to show you how real it is. So before we even get started, though, before we get started, two things. One, salute to my big homie, man, my big bro, Anton Daniels. Thank you so much for sharing the game, bro. Um, the second thing is to my day ones, my core, my core supporters, man. Um, thank you so much because you've been with me through a lot of evolutions and there's a period of time where you know i gotta put this on pause and i gotta go get this real estate and and deal with that well your boy's back man your boy's back um and it is my job and it's my commitment to put my best foot forward on this channel okay real talk man and so um our other channel, new channel that I just started, Spiritual Politics. Make sure that you sign up for that, man. Go over there on YouTube, sign up, you know, subscribe, hit the notification button. By far the best information that you're going to ever get when it comes to black history, okay? Um, in the United States government, by far. It's the illest thing ever, seriously. So subscribe. In fact, with that, you can go to your podcast, whether you're on Spotify, whether you're on iTunes, Wherever you get your um, audio podcast from, man, subscribe to Spiritual Politics with Noble and Pooh. OK. All right. So let's get into this whole um, Troy Ave situation, man. Here's the birth chart of Troy Ave. I want you to pay attention to everything in black. Pay attention to me. These are where the planets were at when he was born. Let's start at the bottom. Notice it says born Saturn and Sagittarius. OK. Notice it says born sun and Sagittarius. OK, and then notice it says born Mercury retro in Sagittarius, because you can see a little R under Mercury. That means retrograde. That's going to be very important to understand. Now, in green, you see it says Mars, the day of the shooting. And then you're going to see it says Saturn, the day of the shooting. Notice that Saturn in green, the day of the shooting is not too far from what Saturn was in black when he was born. OK, so all of this is going to be imperative or very important because uh, it is. Trust me. So now let's look at some definitions of Sagittarius. You see Jupiter rules Sagittarius. So therefore, Jupiter is the Sagittarian ambassador in a sense. OK, so a definition or definitions for Sagittarius is justice in the law. All right. And shout out to my man, Cam on the jam, man, who got this beat for me. I got it from Beat Stars, and he happened to be already rocking with the channel, man. That's that's divine. That's just divine, man. So get with me, Cam, because I like I got some things I want to produce, bro. Seriously, man. I want you to do some Union Soldier stuff, too, for sure. But um, notice that that um, Sagittarius represents justice and law. OK, this is very important. So now let's look at these planetary keywords. Since Troy Ave is a Sagittarius, that means his identity is Sagittarius. When a person say what their zodiac sign is, it's Libra season, it's Scorpio season, that's where the sun appears, okay? So that's your identity. That's why they say, I am this, okay? All right, so the sun was there in Sagittarius, which represents law and justice, okay? So he is the law. OK, now the planet Mercury was there and it was in retrograde. What do Mercury represent? Communication agents. Now, I'm not saying he's an agent, like undercover agent. All I'm saying is agent simply means you are the 
you are the representative of so it represents communication so since he got mercury and sagittarius what do that mean that's communication with the law that's an agent of the law you understand what i'm saying and now if you look at saturn saturn represents justice confinement and time because this is the energy that represents government so sagittarius is the law but saturn is government time and confinement you saw a double justice energy sagittarius represents justice and so does saturn so when these energies come together saturn and sag or saturn and jupiter in his case saturn and sag it's a double emphasis on the goddamn police okay so now let's look at something when he was born look at the bottom right hand corner it says um 11 23 85 which is troy ass birthday saturn and sun as we saw in the chart was close together in sag but notice in the sky it appears to be around the claw of the scorpion the reason why it appears here is because the earth is on a tilt 23.5 degrees so therefore the things that we see out in space appear to be basically one sign back 23 degrees backwards and this is the difference between eastern astrology and western astrology they are not accounting for the tilt you understand what i'm saying so in essence you really can't believe what you see with the naked eye but that's another conversation pay attention to the alignment so saturn the planet of government the planet of time the planet of justice the planet of confinement so that's lock up government is dead on the sun right here which represents self okay now this is when he was born so now let's go up 31 years later the day of the event pay attention look at the date at the bottom right hand corner 5 25 2016 that's the night of the event the planet mars is exactly where his son is this is dangerous why is it dangerous because the planet mars ladies and gentlemen represents violence armed services armed services and bloodshed armed services means what pistols you see how that is so when this dude man gets in the proximity meaning mars when the planet mars gets in the proximity of being in the same position of where the sun was for troy ab which represents himself now all of a sudden he gonna feel anger because mars represents anger he gonna feel like vengeance he gonna feel like okay yeah I'm a, let me get a gun but he's really under the influence of the martian ray you understand what i'm saying if you go to the only book that steve jobs had on his ipad this is a fact the only book he had on this ipad was what the autobiography of a yogi by yogananda okay yogananda is a beast man <laughs> yogananda one of my teachers in the ether listen homeboy was on a whole nother level okay i gotta say this because it's the truth yogananda died on purpose giving the speech he was giving the speech and said something along these lines um um all i know the last line was when this body hits the sod and when he said sod he fell back and he died there's a known state of enlightenment called nirvikla samadhi which means the thing that makes you and i alive ladies and gentlemen that's indwelling spirit how much time i got on this right here all right so that indwelling spirit right um they know how to master that they know how to the thing that makes us alive that leaves our body when we die right they know how to master that and leave it at will so look into his death you'll see he was given the speech and he, his students said yo he was telling us the hour is near the hour is near because he foresaw that yoga was going to take root in the west and his job was done and he got up out of here at will a master anyway in the book the autobiography of a yogi there's a chapter called outwitting the stars in that chapter he says that the planets radiate positive and negative radiations mars is one of those planets that is a negative radiator saturn is too okay so this is very important to understand we know this in the craft is called the great malefics these two energies right here when they're in a certain position as you just saw they come back in the same vicinity then negative things can happen now here's the thing but it's predicated upon your willpower and you having to have a decision the angels of your better nature is on one shoulder and the angels of your lesser nature is on the other shoulder 
it's to a degree just a suggestion it can be a heavy suggestion but this is where willpower and faith and just knowing what the right thing to do comes into play okay just because it's raining you ain't necessarily got to get wet man not like that okay so um you saw that alignment for yourself directly dead on now here's another thing let me add this to the mix because tax stone is born 8 14 85 that's the 21st day of um leo okay so if leo starts like on 7 22 then 8 14 is like the 21st day so he's coming at the end of leo so he's what's called a 21 degree leo which simply means he's the 21st degree leo here's the kicker though although Troy Ab is a Sagittarius and Leo and Sag get along. This is where you got to know the science. Troy Ab is born November 23rd. He's born the second day of Sagittarius. So really his energy is so fresh because he on the cusp. He's flirting with the late degrees of Scorpio. And since Taxstone is a late Leo, Leo squares Scorpio. So in this case, tax stones energy squares the first two degrees of Sagittarius, which is the zero degree of Sagittarius, which is the very first degree. And then the first degree of Sagittarius, which is technically the second degree because Zodiac signs go zero to 29, which represent 30 degrees in each sign, which is like 30 days in a month, but it's not one to 30 It's zero to 29. This is science, man. So I hope that don't go over your head. Okay. And so technically tax stone Leo energy, because it's so late, right? It's 21. And so if you count 90 degrees over, that'd be 21, what? 21 degrees Scorpio. But you get this 10 degree orb because it's kind of like, well, you still next to me for the next 10 degrees. Okay. So if you count from 21 Scorpio to 10 degrees up, you want to do it together? 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, which is the last degree. We got eight degrees. This is the last degree of Scorpio. Then you're going to get zero Sagittarius, one Sagittarius. What is Troy Ave? A one degree Sagittarius. So what do this mean? They square each other. Okay, you see that corner over there, top corner? A square is like an east west wall running into a north south wall. This is the real meaning of keep them squares out your circle. This ain't got nothing to do with keeping nerds out. You want nerds around, trust me. You want astro geeks around. You want the nerds around. But keep the squares out your circle really is talking about incompatible energy in your life. That make your world go round. You have to be able, you should know how to define this. Okay. So let me get out of here. I just wanted to share that with you. You see the square chart, you saw it from Leo to um Scorpio. There's a problem, but the energies blend the higher your energy is or the lower your energy is. You got to know how to do this. Okay. So I'm gonna be dropping something real soon so you guys can all of you can participate with me more on the interactive side so you can learn this science man because uh it is truly a blessing when you know how to calculate this okay so i'm out of here man i'm signing out okay peace